Hi there crafters, um, just a quick video to show you um, a card and box um, that I've made for uh, Dutty Gin. Um, she liked my stick pin card um, that I'd, I've already done on video, I've, I've done a couple and um, we had a bit of a chat and she said that uh, she'd actually like one of my stick pin cards so this is what um, I've come up with that I've done for uh, Gina so um, this is the box itself, the outside of the, the box um, so I had these um, flower embellishments um, that I've got that uh, have just all been um, glittered and everything which I've just stuck on the top. The paper line that I've used all through this is um, Mariposa. Um, so you can see there's like a design on the paper and there's like butterflies and leaves and this is like the design on the corner of the paper so uh, this is the all the papers through through the card are out of Mariposa and um, so as I said I've done this little flower here um, it was an embellishment it's not something um, that I've made myself and that and uh, I've put a bit of bling on and then here I've just had a little uh, embellishment card, little tag, and um, it says desire, hope, dream, wish, believe, faith and aspire. So I've just sort of stuck that on the front. And then here I've used some of um, the flowers um, that I've had off of eBay. Uh, seller is Pretty Crafty Crafts and um, some of you crafters out there um, did buy a lot of, of these flowers um, a while back in bulk because she does such a good price on her flowers and that but uh, if you haven't already got some go check her out um, it's on ebay and her seller name is Pretty Crafty Crafts so anyway, I've used these like little roses and uh, I've put another little embellishment in here uh, with some um, three leaves, like a stem of three leaves and I've just put a little white flower, um, flower feather in behind and I've trimmed the box around um, in this fringed trim so that's all the way around the box. Now, if you take the lid off, says me. There we go. Um, this is the card that I've done for her inside. So I'll just get that out. Now the box itself as well, I've made myself. Um, this is an 8x8 um, card. I haven't done anything with the bottom of the box. Um, I shall put some tissue paper in here just to protect the card. Um, but this is the card that I've done. And uh, again, as I said, all the papers that I've used are from the Mariposa uh, DCW V stack, um, which it's already got this glitter. Um, glitter design on the paper so it's already on so I've added a little butterfly here embellishment and here and I have layered the card the card was white so I've used this like sparkly dark blue card and then this red uh, mirror board card and then a piece of like it's sort of a very light sort of turquoisey blue sort of a greeny blue sort of color uh, put that on and then 
the Mariposa paper. And uh, using a Tim Holtz die, I cut out um, this bird cage, and I've used uh, Metal Magic on this by is it Debbie Moore? And I all basically inked the card and put the clear Metal Magic on the top, so it looks it's supposed to look sort of worn and misshaped and sort of bent because that's the the way that I wanted it to look um, I had a wooden embellishment of a bird and I've used my Tim Holt uh, inks and just ink different colours all over the bird I don't know whether you can see it properly I'll just stand it up so I've used all different colours on this bird and then I put uh, what was it on it uh, let's have a look I went over the top, oh, in glossy accents to give you that um, sort of glassy sort of look. And then I've put some little uh, wild orchid craft roses um, down the side here. Uh, put a bit of bling coming out from the bird cage. And I've got a bit of bling up here. And I've also added this little crystal bauble on the top but I'll put this bling here and then using again uh, Pretty Crafty Crafts flowers um, I've got the roses going across here and coming down here and put some little white Wild Orchid Craft roses in and just sort of tuck them in here and um, I've made a stick pin and I push that behind the stick pin using the same sort of colours, pinks and reds and this is a crystal headed stick pin um, I've put a flower, uh, a flower flipping neck I've put a feather um, behind the bird cage also and I've got another little embellishment of a butterfly here and just incorporate it, I've got this little rosette trim which I put in the corner um, and put all the little bud roses all in between and, and put like stems of these roses coming down. On the bottom of the bird cage, I put some metal embellishments. Um, these have got like a little green crystal in. I don't know, yeah, you can see it there. Um, so I've put one of those each either end and two little keys I've put on the end and another embellishment which has got like um, a red a sort of a brownie red uh, crystal in the middle as well so oh and some bling here so that's the front of the card so if I can just show you that so that's the finished product of the front and then when you open the card Again, using the paper line from uh, Mariposa. Um, I've used the butterflies with the bird cage on. Um, I had this in my stack, which is an, an embellishment. I haven't written on this, um, and I'm not going to write on, on the card itself because um, she might want to use it and send it to somebody, but I'm just going to put a little card in myself and that. So this is for her to be able to use. Um, so I'll put some bling either side here as well. Oh, that's not stuck down, stick that down. So I've put some little bling in there. As I said, this was an embellishment that I already had. Um, so I've layered the paper line on. I've done a piece of gold card and then made the stick pin holder and then put some bling across the front and then I've made all handmade all the stick pins. So that's number one and then we have that one and then the one with some with the leaf pin in and another leaf pin one 
and then this one these have got the three pearl heads already on and I've just added the beads to them and then on the bottom row I've done some leaf ones again so I don't really know whether you can see them very well here yeah, I'll put the light on <laughs> and just go through them so those are my stick pins so I hope she likes them and that there is my card finished product so I hope you like it and thanks again for watching and Gina I hope you like your card honey um, took quite a while to sort of work out what I was going to do but this is what I come up with so I hope you like it and I shall speak to you soon so thanks again crafters bye